Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Spooky Sunday video. So as I said in my last video, today we are going to be watching more scary TikToks and as I said in my last video also, I haven't actually watched these properly because I got really scared finding them last night in the middle of the night and was like, I can't watch them so I just saved them to my saved videos on TikTok and we're just going to go ahead and watch them for the first time together and I'm so nervous and freaked out from the last video but it's okay, we can do it. Without further ado, let's get into the video and I hope you all like it. Here's the first video. We also seen this man's video in the last video. He did a video on the Amityville house. I just said video so many times in that sentence. Anyways, he did one on the Amityville house, but he's also done one on the Conjuring house. So we're going to go ahead and watch that. I think I'm eating my words when I said I could not live in the Amityville horror house because this one, this is the one I forgot all about and I could not fucking live in here at all. Yes, this is the Conjuring House. And it just sold like six months ago for over $1.5 million. You know what, kudos to the new owner because they actually turned this into an amazing investment opportunity. When this house originally sold, it did sell with one stipulation and that is that nobody can live there year round which probably wouldn't be an issue for 99% of the population because I don't see anybody even wanting to go there overnight and having to pay for it. And of course they had to showcase the most creepiest shit in this house, like this doll. I think that's the Annabelle doll. If I'm not mistaken, I actually remember about a year or so ago, they actually had to stop operations on this house. I don't remember what happened or if it was true or not, but it looks like it's up and running now. So if you do the regular tour, I know that it's only like $20 for about an hour and a half staying in there. They also have the overnight investigation, which is $960. You're there for about 13 to 14 hours. And if you're a content creator, you can do the content creator investigation. You're there overnight starting at $1,200. You're there for about 13 hours. But I'm sure that whoever bought it is making a killing right now on their return on investment. So good for them. I literally couldn't live there. I've mentioned that before in another video I did about haunted houses. It freaks me out so much. But the person that's bought it that's doing all those different packages is smart because they're probably going to make all of their money back. And then when they sell the house, make loads of money then as well. So it is a good investment, I guess. And if you're not living in it, it's not too bad, but... I could not, I don't know. Smart, but creepy. Can I show you a scary video? That made me feel sick. I have so many chills up my back right now. I need to breathe because that video has really freaked me out. What the fuck? Did that scare anyone else? Did that make anyone else feel a type of way because that was literally vile. <laughs> I'm so creeped out. I was gonna say I need to move on to the next one because I'm so scared even though the next video is just gonna be as scary because this is a scary video. There is times where I question what I, what I do on this channel. <laughs> right now is one of them. Quite possibly the scariest ring doorbell footage you will ever see. In the middle of the night, a homeowner gets an alert on his ring doorbell that something is outside. When he views the footage, he sees this. When you take a closer look, you can clearly see a ghostly figure crawling along the sidewalk. I wouldn't say it's the scariest ring doorbell footage you will ever see and it low-key looks like a slug moving across the floor but I know it's not a slug because it wouldn't be that big obviously. Do I think it's a ghost? Maybe. I was reading some of the comments and it was making me laugh because people were commenting saying it's just a drunk person trying to find their way home. <laughs> Sometimes the comments on TikTok make me laugh more than the actual video. Like let's read a few of them. Someone put if it came crawling towards the front door that would be scary. That is true. Someone put someone's been on the lash in Liverpool. <laughs> People say that Liverpool is the best place to go out on a night out in the UK. I live here and I have been out on a night out. Love the live music. Yeah, anyway, that is not what this video is about. Someone put it's a worm. <laughs> it literally looks like a worm though. Right, let's go on to the next one.
why did she open the door after that happened? There is no way in hell I would open the door even just to see who it is after I've just heard someone try and open it from the outside. Also, if you have a ring doorbell, is there any way that you can have a look to see who's outside instead of opening the door? I don't have one, so I don't know how it works because obviously I live in university accommodation, so obviously I don't have one. But can, is there a way you can look in real time to see who's outside? But that video, I've seen it before, so I had to find it to show you guys because it literally gives me the creeps. But that is the reason I will never take bins out at night time, not on my own anyway. When I lived in my apartment, I would wait until the morning, even if I was desperate to take them out. I just would never take them out at night time. No way. You just never know who's outside. So it creeps me out. We need to talk about this photo. This photo was discovered by a single mother who recently bought a new phone. She came home, placed her phone on the table and started watching TV. But soon after that, her son found the phone and asked to play with it. She agreed thinking nothing unusual was going to happen. But around 11 p.m. that same night, the mother decided it was time to go to bed. Strangely though, she found her son already in bed, which was very unusual for him. Normally, he'd want to stay up a lot longer. That's when she noticed her new phone was still in her son's hands. So she took it from him and unlocked the phone. At first, only seeing some minor changes. He changed the background on her phone and took a few pictures around the house, nothing too alarming. But since the photo seemed random, she started deleting them until she saw something that shocked her. This was the last photo on her camera roll, showing her son sleeping, but the photo was taken by someone else above him. Follow for more stories. Ew, is that a real picture? Is that a real story? Why does it look like Saw, like you know the Saw doll, if it was made to look human-ish, like a bit more human-ish, it looks like that, that, like that's how the Saw doll would look. Oh, is that real? Oh, that's so creepy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. I hope you all liked it. I hope you're all creeped out and feeling spooky. If you did like it, please remember to smash a massive thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. Peace.